Hello YouTube family, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. And I'll read to you another devotional. This devotional is entitled, How Are We Born Again? And I'll be reading from my Bible, John chapter 3, verses 9 through 16. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said to him, Are you the teacher of Israel and do not know these things? Most assuredly I say to you, We speak what we know and testify what we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended to heaven but he who came down from heaven, that is, the Son of Man who is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Hey, that's the Bible reading, now the devotion. <clears throat> Yesterday we learned what born again means, but do we know how it comes about? Is it something we choose or something God does to us? In our, in our Jesus' words in John 3, 7, you must be born again, a command or a factual statement. Actually, the birth the new birth requires both the work of God and the response of man. The Father is the one who took the initiative by sending his Son to bear divine wrath for our sins. In that way, God could forgive us while remaining just. Then his Spirit opens our hearts to understand this. The perfect Son of God died in our place so we wouldn't perish but instead would have eternal life. Our role in this relationship is to respond in faith, believing in who Jesus is and what he did on our behalf. This isn't just intellectual knowledge, acknowledgement, but complete abandonment of ourselves to him. We see our sin as a great offense against God, recognize that Jesus is our only hope, and rely fully on him for our forgiveness and salvation. He is now our Lord and Master, and our desire is to no longer live for ourselves, but for Christ alone. Yes, amen. Yes. Yes, we, we live for Christ alone. Yes, amen. All right, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Hope you got something from it. And until I read to you again, God bless you all. Goodbye.